Cartoon Lagoon Behind the Bowl, a celebration of the voices you know, but the faces you uh, I'm Larry Kenny, and um, I'm a voice actor, uh, which means I talk for food. And uh, depending upon uh, a person's age, they may know me for a number of things. I, for nearly 40 years, I've provided the voice of uh, Count Chocula and the Count Chocula commercials. And I've also provided the voice of Sonny, the uh, Cocoa Puffs bird, for about that long in the Cocoa Puffs commercials. Uh, some people know me from my work on uh, an animated series called Thundercats, uh, wherein I was the voice of lion -O, among others. Some people know me from Hymas in the Morning, a radio and television show that I was on for 35 years. Some people know me from uh, VH1's Best Week Ever, where I was the announcer. It's the second week of February, 2010, the best week ever! And I use that same voice, so you may recognize that voice on the end of every Skittles commercial, where I say something like, feel the rainbow, taste the rainbow. That's also me. And uh, so a lot of people tell me they grew up with my voice in the background every time they turn the television on, and I apologize for that. Well, I started in radio when I was uh, 15 years old, back in Peoria, Illinois. And we had a radio class in my high school, which is, at that time, extremely rare. It's even rare today. And I took this radio class, and at the time, I, I actually had been a sports reporter for a year. For I like to joke that I started my career as a sports reporter for the Times. And I did. It was the Pekin Daily Times. Don't go, go, go! Yeah, Sonny was my first, uh, actually I believe I started doing the count first. They were about a year apart. I think it was 1978 when I replaced Jim Dukas, uh, who had been the count when I was a kid. Welcome to my gallery of ghouls who love my Count Chocula cereal. Count Chocula! Big deal. Count Chocula! Count Chocula, what's in here? My treasures! Count Chocula cereal! But of course! I had auditioned, as everybody else in New York had, for to be the new voice of uh, the Leprechaun. Lucky the Leprechaun. Arthur Anderson had been Lucky the Leprechaun. And uh, he was, you know, uh, retired or whatever, and, and so they needed a new voice. So I auditioned for that, and I didn't hear anything from my agent for a week or so, which means, you know, you didn't get it, I thought. And then one day I walked into a, I think it was a Cocoa Puffs session, and as I walked in, Dean Meyer said, Larry, dear boy, you should know that you won the audition uh, for Lucky. I said, really? And he said, yes, but I poo-pooed it. I said, well, he said, well, long story short, he said, he told them he's already doing Sonny and the Count. What if something happens to him? We'll be out three characters. But, you know, on the other hand, uh, you don't want to be too greedy, you know. I mean, how many people have a chance to do two iconic characters, let alone three, you know? But I could have been lucky to, today I might have even been saying, always after me Lucky Charles, you know. But I'm not even sure who does it today. It might be Doug Price. Most, most known for being Lion. Lion. Because, well, it was a series and your name is on the credits at the end, of course, and yeah. So, in fact, a lot of people who, uh, know me from Thundercats. If I meet them at conventions and things, they're, they're, or they read on the internet that I'm also the voice of these other characters, they're shocked. They say, I never knew that you did that when we auditioned for Thundercats. They didn't want, quote, cartoon voices for the main characters, for the Thundercats. They want real people sounding. And, uh, we all were like Tiger. It sounds like Peter Newman's voice. You know, it's not it's not a caricature voice or a cartoony voice. Now the other characters we did, did the mutants and things like that, are our cartoon voices, as are Count Chocula and, and uh, Sonny and all, and all those. So the Lionel voice is really just my voice. The difference is, when I'm sitting here talking to you, I might say Sword of Omens come into my hand. I Lionel come in. When I do the show, I would say, Sword of Omens, come to my hand. I, Lionel, command it. Uh, there were times when people said to me, were you channeling John Wayne there? He sounded a little bit like John Wayne. And I said, no. But I've been told all my life that my own speaking style is a little John Wayne-ish. I don't know, because I, I guess it's from, I'm from the Midwest, and I tend to take a while to say things, you know, and emphasize things a certain way. 
And sometimes you start slipping into John, the Duke guy calling, without even knowing it. Are we clear? I was at Toys R Us. It was a couple weeks before Christmas. And probably the show had been on, let's say, for six months, maybe. I don't remember the exact day. But I walked into Toys R Us, and I see three aisles of Thundercats toy. Three complete aisles. Where a couple of months before, it had been Masters of the Universe or E-Man or something like that. And when I saw that, you know, all that space dedicated to merchandise from Thundercats, I thought to myself, the show was a hit. And I walked two steps and there were two young boys, you may have read this story somewhere on the internet because I've told it so many times, it's, it, it's true I swear. There's two young boys, probably 10 and 8, I don't know, you know, 11, 7, something like that, looking at some of the merchandise. And as I'm slowly walking by looking at myself, I hear one of them say, I'm going to get Tiger. He's my favorite Thundercat. The other one says something like, yeah, but Panthro is cool. Well, now, of course, now I'm, my feelings are hurt. Now I, I went over and I, I said, you know, boys, Lilo is the one you should get because he's the lord of the Thundercats. And he's the one who says, Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats, oh! Huh? Huh? And they just looked at me like I'm this weird old guy, which, which I am. So I walk away, and behind me I can hear one of them say, he didn't even sound like one. Thundero once again turns to you, noble warriors, to defend her. Tonight, as we go into battle, I only ask that you fight like cats. First of all, I, th I thought it was wonderful of uh, Warner Brothers, who produced the, the new Thundercats series uh, last year. Or was it two years ago now? I guess it's last year. Um, I thought it was wonderful of them to ask me, to, because it's an homage to, to the to the original Thundercats series. And plus it makes a lot of sense to have Lion, you know, the guy who did Lion out now, who is older himself, play Claudius. You mentioned coming into Count Chocula after yeah. uh, Jim Dukas. You've made Chocula your own. He's yeah. you now you've been... And then with, with Coco Puffs, uh, 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 Chuck McCann. I remember as a kid what, hearing Chuck McCann as Sonny the Coco Puffs bird. So yeah, when, now when they say, here's your script, you are now Sonny. I mean, you can't help but go, wow. I'm doing the thing that I thought was neat when I was a kid, you know. Now, Sonny is one of the most manic, physical, insane, yeah. crazy yeah. cartoon characters of all time, much less mm -hmm. advertising. Uh, what's it like to... To work out. Well, you, you know, you were there. You, you saw me sweating. <laughs> there were times when you really get into it and get into it, and um, yeah, you know, you're you're, you're sweating because it's, it's okay. Um, all right, let's let's try that one again. Try that one again. Then you do a 40, 50 takes of. And I'm 65 years old now, and I'm still doing it. I'm proud that I've been associated with some things that have become. Iconic, mostly, mostly proud, like with Thundercats, uh, because of, uh, people tell me that it meant a lot to them for, for their childhood. I, I have emails from people that just tear your heart out about their childhood and how bad it was. Some of them wouldn't be graphic about it, but you could tell what they meant when they would say, my only refuge was to go into my room and watch Thundercats, and I could forget the pain, I could forget that, well, you know what was going on there. When somebody tells you, and they'll say, these are, these are adults now writing to you and telling you this 30 years later. And 30 years later they say, I want to thank you for your part and what really got me, got me through my childhood when I went nuts. Well, you know what that makes me feel like? I mean, that, that's, that's all I want to be remembered for by those, by those people. Is I helped them. Thank you so much for letting me know that. The only thing that I would ever want to be remembered for, and I hope I'm being remembered, or will be remembered for uh, by anybody, whether it's somebody who just watched uh, what I did, or is that I was a pretty good guy. I was a good guy. I was a nice guy. 
Mamra, I challenge you! Come to Kula Cereal is coming your way. How about the monster for breakfast today? It was always... Oh, no, no, no. Go, go, Pops, this past. Because it's got all this food. And then, uh, Frank and Bernie said, Yes, but my strawberry-flavored marshmallows are much tastier. And they would fight and fight. And I would simply say, Enough! You go over there and fight. And you kids, you know which one is more delicious, don't you?